Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, we are back one more again featuring some Nogi roles this time on the channel featuring my buddy Julian who used to be a white belt but recently got promoted so uh, we decided to do a Nogi role right here and he's talking about, I think we're laughing because he's talking about my muscles or something, he's using that to distract me while he gets head control and right here I'm going to break those grips and stop him from getting the head control and he's still talking about the muscles or something, Julian is a goofy, goofy guy. So right here, um, he starts bringing my head down and I'm immediately going to sit to guard because this was like the fourth role that I did and I was extremely tired. I usually don't play a lot of guard uh, in Nogi. I like to do the takedowns, but uh, right here I was tired. So I was like, I'm going to play a half guard game, uh, play an old man game and uh, figure out what I can do from there. So right here, Julian is doing a good job of trying to smash my legs together. Julian, I believe wrestled. So he's trying to do a smash pass right here and I'm doing a good job of kind of keeping him away from my head. And right here, I'm going to stay in a seated position, get to a technical stand up uh, position right here that just in case he tries to bum rush me, I can uh, angle out right here. I'm going to get into a half guard position and Julian is going to expose that elbow at a 90 degree, which means that I'm going to immediately snatch up a Kimura right here. I grab uh, his wrist, then my wrist, and um, I'm going to, now what I'm going to do here is not pull directly away. I'm going to pull out and up to get his arm clear and uh, get the uh, Kimura. So right here I get it and I'm able to turn and get uh, this submission right here after I uh, extend it a little bit. So we're going to reset. Um, we've still got three minutes and 30 seconds left in the roll and right here He's doing a good job of controlling my head and I'm trying to stop him from uh, from doing that He's trying to do some leg sweeps right here try to come in for a single and all the type of wrestling stuff He likes to do so uh, right here He's able to get one leg and he traps the second leg, but I'm going to fall and keep my head posted uh, To the side what I'm doing is I'm turning my head and my body and turning his takedown into like a butterfly sweep position So normally when he does that type of takedown I fall you usually Usually fall to your back but I was able to turn and uh, when I turned my body I was able to get into like a butterfly sweep position get the uh, guillotine and uh, come up into a, a half guard top of half guard position I let go of the guillotine and start doing my back step passing to stop him from getting the half guard and uh, right here my leg uh, my right leg knee line is out and that Julian's gonna look at the camera and give a give a little wave right here uh, what I'm trying to do is windshield wipe uh, my left leg through so I can get into a side control position right here because I feel pretty comfortable uh, the the half guard that he's playing is not very deep uh, and my right leg is like hooking his uh, left leg to stop him from uh, uh, angling and getting a really good half guard but right here he's still able to trap the leg and what I'm doing right here is trying to get a head in guillotine which is something I like to throw threaten in Nogi when uh, someone starts playing the half guard, which is ironic because I guess it's not ironic, but this is something I don't do in Gi. When people play half guard in Gi, I don't go for this. Uh, for some reason, I need to shore that up. Um, and right here, I've got kind of like the guillotine arm in and I'm trying to work on it but uh, he's doing a good job of defending it and I'm trying to use that to free my left leg and turn it into a knee cut pass but he's able to shift and get into a closed guard position here and right here he's kind of trying to break my posture down and I'm taking a little breather building my posture back up getting that hand away from my head and stopping him from getting a hip bump sweep right here so he's still playing the closed guard position trying to figure out how he's going to get an arm lock from me but he's opening the guard right here i'm going to use that opportunity to kind of get into a combat stance and sit up uh, uh i think my nose was running a little bit so i kind of wipe my nose and we just do a, a slap bump right here and he's going to try to pull me back down into the closed guard position and stop me from uh, posturing up and getting out of the closed guard here he's going to try to go for another hip bump sweep opening up his guard just momentarily and uh that caused me to post my arm but luckily he doesn't go for any triangles or anything like that but he's able to break my posture down so i'm going to have to build it back up by uh, getting the hand off my off the back of my head and trying to posture back up and uh, stop him from playing the closed guard. So right here, I'm able to step over and get into a knee cut position right here. I'm able to grab the back of his head and use that to bring him into me to get out of the um, out of the half guard and get into a kind of a. a um, a knee cut position right here he's going for the same uh, sweep he tried to go for last time but I'm able to kind of just put my body weight into him and stop him from getting that right here I've got my left arm around his head uh, threatening the choke and my right arm is going around his arm trying to get that uh, uh, head uh, arm in guillotine and I'm using that to get into the mount position so I like to threaten the chokes and the submissions uh, to use that to open up the uh, submission I'm, I'm sorry the passing 
possibilities. So right here, I'm trying to isolate that arm, bring my right knee up, and what I'm going to do is step my arm over and uh, try to get an umaplata. So right here, he's going to start to roll, and I'm hugging his leg to stop him from rolling, but I'm not able to get into a sweeping position from the uh, umaplata. He's able to get his arm free uh, because it's no gi. He's a little bit more sweaty, and there's a lot, not as much friction as there would be in the gi. So right here. Uh, he's in trying to get into a passing position. I'm trying to bring that arm forward so I can get back into the umaplata, but he's able to kind of stop that and uh, get a gable grip around my shoulder and head and stop me from getting the umaplata position there. So right here, what I'm trying to do now is just kind of keep him in a closed guard position and see if I can... Uh, um, get a type of sweep or something right here. He was smiling because he said he saw that coming and uh, you know I was trying to be sneaky with the omoplata and uh, he was just commenting on, commenting on that. So right here I'm able to get a half guard sweep, a very lazy, um, uh, I'm sorry not half guard sweep but get into the half guard position to get the sweep right here. A very lazy type half guard sweep right here and um, I'm going to start getting into the mount position, get into the mount and ladies and gentlemen that is going to be the end of the roll. So let's get right into these takeaways right here. I'm looking for the submission whenever I can, especially in Nogi, I'm going to look for the submission and use that to advance my position right here. I lock up the Kimura and I was going, if he, if I didn't get the tap for the Kimura, what I was going to do was use that to sweep and uh, get up on top. So I, I was able to get the submission right there, right here. Uh, when I know I'm going down for the takedown, I turn my body to the side to uh, turn it into a sweep. So if you, if you're getting taken down, try not to fall squarely on your back and, and you know, try to turn to your side and use that momentum to turn it into a sweep or a scramble. Right here, I'm using the submission attempt to advance the position, and that's usually what I like to do, especially in no gi. Right here, I'm using the the guillotine attempt to get into the mount position right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the roll. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a good one. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.